Hey guys, Missy Bunch here with Death of the Desk and today's video is for a total body warm up. We're going to hit almost every joint in your body in less than 10 minutes and the reasons for that are astronomical so I won't even get into it, that's a whole nother lecture. Just know that every muscle starts and ends with a joint. So if your joints are immobile and stiff, the muscles connected to them are also not going to be very flexible and strong. So do this with me, go ahead and take a stand and um, once you get used to this, you'll get it down to way less than 10 minutes, but this is going to be with instructions. So you have something to turn to. And as usual, I'm here if you have any questions. So for neutral stance, what you wanna do is make sure your toes are facing forward. Not out like a duck and not towards each other like a pigeon toe. They're facing forward and they're underneath your hips. You can see where your hips are if you do a fake little march and where the crease is when you bend your leg. Try to get your second toe underneath those bones that pop out. Now from a side view, Make sure your chest isn't open too big and your back isn't swayed. You wanna tuck your tailbone under, quiet your ribs down, and think of lengthening the top of the crown through the head, through the head, through, your, through the ceiling, <laughs> top of the head through the ceiling. And make sure your chin is parallel to the floor. A lot of people think that this is standing up nice and tall. Actually, you just look like you're trying to be Superman. So. Lengthen up, tuck the tailbone under, pull the ribs down, chin parallel to the floor, and that is our starting position. All right, what you wanna do from here is bring your right foot forward, see if you can see me, and roll your big toe over your pinky toe, and you're stretching the outside of the ankle in the back. Okay, other side, three to five reps. And think of the target being way back here, not by your toes. Okay, stay nice and tall. Now the inside of the ankle on the same joint. Big wide stance, bend your right knee, and stack your pinky toe over your big toe and come right back up. Okay, three of those. Other side, and make sure you're thinking of unjamming the inside of your ankle for this. The target's right here. Now we have ankle circles. Stick one leg out and we're drawing huge, fat, symmetrical, smooth circles in each direction. Try not to make hieroglyphics like this. Try to make them really big and smooth, three in each direction. And I love holding on to something because this is not about balance. This is actually about warming up your ankle. So you don't need to be cool and try to do all of these things. All right, now you have toe pulls. What you do for this is you bring one foot behind you and curl your toes under. Make sure your knee is behind your other knee and you're gonna bend your legs this way so that you can stretch the top of the other foot. Okay, so here's what it looks like from the back. Make sure your heel is stacked over your toes you're breathing and you're relaxed. Now what you're gonna do is take that same position but roll your ankle out to the side and do the exact same thing. Notice I'm moving very gently and very slow. I'm not trying to crank on this at all. Very, very gentle. We're stretching the sides of our feet. Other side, you're gonna stick your leg out to a 45 roll your ankle in and then stretch the inside of your foot three reps here okay your leg goes back and out to a 45 roll the ankle in and bend and i'm really trying not to let all of this stuff go awesome job shake it off now you have your knees okay we're moving up give your knees a little rub Eyes forward, super tall. We're gonna go three reps like this. Bring your knees in like you have to pee. Out and around and lock. Circles with your knees. And reverse it. Out, in, and lock. Out, 
in and lock one more time now both of your knees are going to go to your left all the way to the right and lock two i know it's kind of funky three reverse it knees to your right around and lock two more all right we're moving up the chain we just finished knees now you're going up to your hips hold on to something stick one leg up and then all you have to do for this is knock your foot right left keep your pelvis still i call these mjs because you look like you're doing a little michael jackson move all right now we have pelvis unlock the knees lengthen tuck your tailbone under and then release five reps breathing jaw neck and shoulders relaxed Whew. now we're going to tuck a little under and bring your hip to your armpit now the common error for this one is going sideways like you're closing a car door but what you're actually doing is bringing your hip up towards your armpit All right, now we have full pelvis circles. Tuck under, go to the side, back, and side. Okay, four more. Try to keep those eyes forward and breathe. I have one little choppy part going through this front right circle. And reverse it. Differentiating your hips from your shoulders. All right, now we have standing cat camel. Are you warm yet? Because I am. <laughs> Unlock the knees. High five out here. Inhale, open your sternum, push your chest open. Exhale, tuck your tailbone and round. Four more. In. Exhale. Three more. This is kind of a cat camel move that you might have learned in yoga at some point. If you've never done yoga, that's cool too. We're mobilizing your rib cage. Oh, it feels so good. Now arms out to a T and you're gonna try to touch the sidewall, keep your hips still and glide your ribs out to the side. There you go, nice work right arm out or that's your left arm look to the side draw a big figure eight on your side we're going to go three reps here and reverse it big tall wide figure eight with your shoulder breathing eyes forward super tall reverse it you're doing awesome, we're almost there. I gotta teach you how to unjam every single joint so you know how to do it for the rest of your life. Frankenstein those arms, we're moving on to your elbows. Thumbs come in towards your chest, past your shoulders, and lock. Okay, two more. I know it's kind of funky, let's do two extra. And reverse it, thumbs go back, around, and lock. Thumbs go out around and lock beautiful work I know it's a little bit I'm actually sweating now and shake it out now rub the top of your wrist that's what we're doing next let me move forward for this top of the wrist up bottom of the wrist down okay from side view it looks like this good now inside of the wrist go in outside of the wrist go out beautiful all right your neck is next here we go lengthen up super tall look all the way to the right all the way to the left three each side six total ah <sighs> ear to shoulder we're almost there chin to chest lift the chin <sighs> I like to go a little slower on these and shake it off. All right, we have two things to do with your eyes and then I promise you're done. Stick your arm out in front of you. Give me a thumbs up. Actually, give me two thumbs up. Without moving your head, 
I want you to draw a circle with your thumb, keeping your eyes on the target, and we're gonna follow and track using our eye muscles without moving our head. Now I'm gonna switch to the other side and make my eyeballs work out a little bit. And this is actually harder than it looks. Reverse it. Down, out, make sure you go up, 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 and in. Down, all the way to the side, breathing. Up, 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 up and back to center. Last thing ever, thumbs out in front of you, your arm is fully extended. You're gonna try to bring your thumb to the middle of your eyes while keeping your eyes on your target and look a little cross-eyed. This is called a pencil push-up. Try to make your eyes converge to center and stay on them and diverge out. Okay, so if you watch my eyes for this, here's how it looks. It's kind of funky. Let's see. Bringing them together and out. Got to make them work a little bit. I know that's kind of weird. <laughs> All right, you guys, that's it. If you just do this every day, you will feel amazing. You will see a dramatic difference in your energy and just how your body feels. Decrease your aches and pains. Let me know if you have any questions and of course, enjoy. And just don't forget to move at some point in your day today. I can't wait to hear from you.